Hello everyone. Today we got Samsung notebook which is S3520 and the problem with it is the keyboard and the track panel both of them doesn't work so we got the replacement and today we'll replace it. The problem with this machine the actual main board will sit on here that's the problem okay and individually if you try to replace only the keyboard there is a little bit problem but that is uh, fixable it's possible to do it but the problem is the plastic rabbits okay you need to desolder it with something hot gun or something like that and need to take out which which costs a lot of time at the same time uh, it's going to be a little bit messy it's not going to be sit exactly like that okay so we're going to show you how to do that first what i'm going to do you need to take out this back plate which one already i taken out this screw is very small notice it and after that uh, all these screws almost same in size okay Okay, so I have removed every single screw from here. Now I'm going to pull out the DVD drive. And here is, as you can see, one screw. Okay, that's the one. That is also smaller. Okay, but shorter. So now, second job is to take out the battery. That should be the first, to be honest, because any repair you do, make sure you take out any source of power. Okay, so now we'll take out the rest of them. This is the one for hinge. I'm going to leave it right now. Uh, later on, H means hinge. So now, one thing we need to do: we must need to check what is under underneath the pad because sometimes HP does. I don't know if they do. Yes, as you can see here, sometimes we can notice. Okay, so make sure you take out this screw also. That's the reason why they put mark code with H. So first, whatever screws you see, make sure you've taken out all of them. And there are two kinds of screw only, one of them from the top panel, the rest of them are same. So you don't need to worry about mixing up or organizing. These sort of things catch dust a lot, so what I'm going to do after taking out, I'll put it back. Okay. So as you can see now, None of the screws are left. Oh yeah, that's the one. Right. Okay. Once you've taken out all of them, make sure you take out the hard drive first. Okay. Flex, pull it down. Should be fine. Or just take it out like this. Much easier. Okay. So once this is done, now we need to open the laptop first. Put it like this. Take your flat tools. Put inside the gap and try to squeeze in or out should be fine okay. it will come out easily you can see here okay, okay don't do rush because this sort of job is uh, this sort of job takes time so make sure you should have this sort of patience to do it slowly slowly otherwise you're gonna break it Okay, and this sort of plastic are really cheapy plastic, easy to break. Okay, it's, it's almost open, almost done. So now this part. Yeah. find out what we dropped okay so this is the back panel what we need later on leave it here <clears throat> so whatever you can see on the actual plate we need to take out every single thing even the hinge and good thing is here is built-in speaker so we don't need to worry about it okay uh, every single thing that we see will take. 
So let's start without wasting our time. Eight o'clock. Okay. So if you don't know that much about it, you can do one by one, which is very simple. So first, our first step is to take this out, separate it from the actual display unit. Okay. So to do this, what do you need to do? We need to take this part first. As you can see here. Okay. I'm not going to take this out because I need it. Now, second thing is the Wi-Fi card. Fine. Wi-Fi card. and then from here as you can see the display okay but that is under the motherboard so first we need to take out this panel so let's separate this board as well organize the screw one two now as you can see this is free Disconnect the keyboard. Fine. Take out this screw. Fine. Let's check. Yeah. Now you can remove. Okay, it's very sensitive, so don't pull it like that. What you need to do? Use two kinds of uh, spiky thing. And just yeah separate it like this okay. in that way you don't damage the actual with Samsung these are really really weak so you need to be careful when you pull out any connector because sometimes those are tear out easily okay. it's fine very gently Good. and this set a connector Everything already removed. Fine. We don't need this part because this one comes with it. So that is also good. And now we need to take out this cable. Simple as that. Okay. Once you've taken out everything, open it up. Because it's going to be very difficult once you've taken out the screw. So open it up like this. Okay. And then put it like a pyramid. Give support with your another hand. Don't lose the screw. And then this one. Three. Four. Five. So this unit we don't need it anymore. We'll leave it here. Okay, so this is the actual main unit. We need to reverse back what we've done. I'm gonna put it like this first. Fine. After that. Point out the holes. It's a little bit difficult, but what I can do. Absolutely fine. Good. Now we're gonna bring the motherboard in here and take out this. Fine. That's the one, yeah. Okay. 
before you put any screw make sure the holes are on the point okay and check if any flex left over underneath close this first this one good already fitted. I'm not going to leave it in here because you never know when what happened. That's fine. Okay, so first this screw, don't forget it. Because this is on the corner, so if you don't have enough support, it would be a big problem for it. Okay. One thing you can see, can you see the logo? It's like kind of arrow in both sides. Okay. So if you see something like that, the screw goes, okay? And otherwise, rush of the screw hold, you need to leave it open because you will go to the next turn. Okay, so now, this is the next one. Power switch. This is the speaker cable. If you can point out here, the little holes should be at the front line. So if you try in that way, it's not gonna work, okay? You're gonna break all the pins, okay? So make sure before you do anything, you just think about it, like what you were doing, and keep checking if this is the right form or wrong. Fine. Connect the display connector. Good. Make sure all the way, you need to push it really hard to get it all the way. Fine. Okay, we done a mistake here. It should be underneath the panel. Yeah. That is also done. Good. Brilliant. So nothing is left over here except this connector. Make sure you put it properly because if you don't put it properly you have to open up and try again which one does cost a lot of time you know so this is done now let's check what happened okay. double check usb connector and power supply flex is here then wi-fi antenna connected speaker okay connected then the display port and obviously the heatsink fan port, touchpad panel, everything is fine. So now we are good to put it here. Okay. Make sure you pull the setup port, otherwise problem. See. So 
this small crow first. Small one. Good. Now if you want, you can connect this one first. Good. And the second thing would be the hard right channel. This way. Okay, thank you. So let's put back all the screws, okay? It's very simple. Don't forget to lock this one first, okay? Because this one holds the hinge. If you don't do it properly, hinge will break down. Or it will be flimsy, so very careful. Good. Fully tighten. long screw so make sure you tighten it properly you can skip this part if you want to So almost we put all the screws. Now this is the part. Let's check. Yeah, that's that's the way. That's the way to put it on. Okay. Okay. So let's see if this one turns on. Yeah, this is turning on as you can see the logo. So as you can see now, even the touchpad is working. Okay. So everything is fine. So that's how you replace the top panel from Samsung S3520. Thank you so much for watching guys and bye for now.